Today we're learning of the indirect efforts of our efforts to slow the COVID-19. That includes at Denver Animal Protection, where officers are seeing an increase in two types of calls. Our Connor McHugh rode along with one of the officers today. That had to be an interesting ride, Connor. Yeah, it really was. While their calls right now may be down as a whole, animal protection officers say they are as busy as ever. Right now, COVID-19 is changing the types of calls they're responding to and how they're responding to them. Hello. Hey, this is Daniel with Denver Animal Protection. Animal Protection Officer Daniel Ettinger has his hands full these days. He almost made it over and bit my wind half drill. She was just playing in the yard and I was, you know, because of coronavirus. With everyone cooped up at home, calls to animal services are changing, Daniel says. While more people exercise in their neighborhoods, he's investigating more bites in aggressive dogs. They're sitting on their porch patio and they don't have a leash on that dog. And then someone comes running by riding a bike and that dog goes after them. There's also been an increase in suspected animal abuse calls, which Daniel thinks could be attributed to these unprecedented times. And I think some of the animal cruelty cases are coming from that where people are kind of redirecting their stress onto the vulnerable like the animals. COVID-19 has also changed how animal protection officers respond. Now there's a lot of work done by phone, ways to return dogs to their owners without human to human contact and an isolation area for any animal exposed to COVID-19. <laughs> the shelter is at full capacity and will need to be. Officers are preparing for another unfortunate side effect of this pandemic. I think that we'll find some animals will be also surrendered to our to our shelter as well uh, because they can't continue the financial hardship that they're in. Now, officers say that doesn't have to happen. And the most important thing to know is they are here for you and you, they are just a phone call away. They say if you are struggling to feed your animal, if you are frustrated with it or any other scenario, just give them a call here at the shelter and they will have the resources to help you through it. Live in Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.